no code web scraping with Power Automate desktop is straightforward. We need a data set and here I have some Google searches for my own companies. I want to get the result that is each one of the titles, the descriptions and the URL behind it. So back in Power Automate for desktop, I need to find a launch and here I can pick my favorite browser. I choose Chrome and drag it in. I can either launch a new browser or simply just attach it to a running instance. I'll choose this one and then we'll make the elegant solution a little bit later in this lesson. Click the drop down here and then find your data. This will produce a variable called browser and I'll click save. Now we can data scrape. So if I go up to actions, I'll find an extract data from web page. Take the one on the web data extraction. This one will open here. So if I open my data set, a new wizard will come up here. That is my scraping wizard. First, I need to pick something from the first element. That is what I want to scrape. That could be the title, but it could literally be anything. Here, I take the title. So I right click here, extract element value and pick the text. Now you can see I got the first title over here in the wizard. Similarly, go down to the second item, pick the title here, right click, extract element value. There you go. We have now extracted all the titles. We can take uh, this description as well. So go to the first item, right click, extract element value and pick the text. That's it. That's how easy it is to do no code web scraping with Power Automate desktop. The URL is a little bit more difficult to get. So we'll just click finish here. Here I can say, do I want to store it as a variable, which I can use if I want to make a more complicated flow, or do I simply just want to save it to Excel? I will save it to Excel and the variables produced is called Excel instance. I click save here. Now I can run. It will take a few seconds and we will open up an Excel sheet with our data. That's how easy it is to web scrape. Now, let me show you how to get the URL because that one is not easily accessible. So what we will do here, let me just close this Excel sheet again. To get the URL, I'll need to show you a very cool trick. So add your data, press F12, that will open up the developer tools. This is the HTML code behind this Google site. And if I just click this little arrow, pointed to a title, just click it. And here you can see if I move down here, this is the title. It's called something with H3. That was by the way, the same name as we got before with the wizard. And if I move a little bit down, we can see that the text is called Anna Jensen Org, all about automation. So Power Automate Desktop will create an address for us called H3 until to get the text here. If we want to find a URL um, linked to this uh, title, we can move one element back to the A element. You can see here, I have the H3 and up here is the A. This is uh, href Anna Jensen org. So what I can do here is that I can simply just say, um, cut a little bit away from the address that we used before and use this A element. It goes like this. So in Power Automate Desktop, I'll open the extract data from web page again. And if I open up my data, this will open the wizard. We'll move it over here. So what I want to do is to click advanced settings. And here we have the two CSS selectors that we created for each one of the elements. This one up here is for the title. And this one was from the description. Since we want to move uh, to do a little bit of edit with the title, we go up here, press end on your keyboard or simply just scroll away. There you go. You can now see that this was the A element and this was the H3 element. We know that, and let me just find it again. So just to show you, we know that we want to go up in the A element and not in the H3 anymore. So what I can do is simply just copy everything from the A without the arrow and the H3, then go down to specify additional CSS selector and paste it in here. And here we need the attribute href. So I'll say href, and then I'll click OK. Bingo. Now we have the URLs. That's how easy it is. So then I click finish, I click save. We can try to run it again. 
and we are attaching to the browser. There you go. We have now extracted it and now with a URL over here. So we can customize a, our solution a bit more, still with uh, no code. And let's start from an end. We also want to save the data because this just opens an Excel sheet and often you want to save the data. So if I go up here and the easiest thing will just be to find a close Excel and drag it in. So here we are taking the Excel instance that we created up here. I can say before closing Excel, do not save document, save document or save document as we will do that. We will need to create a document path. And the easiest thing to do will be, let me click save here. This one will produce an error. Fine. Minimize and go to your desktop. Let me just minimize this as well. Here I'm just creating an Excel file like this. I'll grab the path of it. And the way to do that is to press shift, right click, copy as path. So now I got a path for this Excel sheet and this will be where I will store my data. I will simply just delete this one again. It will be created in Power Automate Desktop. Now in close Excel, go down to document path and control V, paste it in. Now I don't have to write everything here. We could give it a new name. So instead of new Microsoft Excel worksheet, we could call it Google searches if I could just hit. So Google searches like that, this. Remember to have the .xlsx on. Then I can click save. So now when I run it, we will also save a closed Excel and save it to our desktop. Here we have the Excel and we have saved it. So if I go down here, there you go. We now have our Google searches on our desktop. One thing I want to change more is that I want to give it a unique file name. Because we really, if we run the robot again, this will get overridden over and over. That's not really nice. So a simple trick is to use the current date and time when the robot runs to make a file name. So I go up here and here I'll find a get current date and time and drag it in up here. This will just produce a variable, a date time variable called current date and time. Save. Now we can convert this date time variable to a text so we can use it in a file name. So find a convert date time to text. The date time to convert. That is the variable that we produced up here called Q and date and time. Take that one. The format to use, choose custom. And here we will use the .NET custom date time format. It's similar to the one that you know from Excel. So this is the format I want my date to be in as text. So four Y's, that is years, two big M's, that is month, two D's, that is days. Now I want hours in 24 hour format, minutes and seconds. This will be a unique name because the robot will not run every second. So I can use this one here in my file name. And now we have it as formatted date time. So open up the close Excel and use it down here in the result. That will be just before the Google searches. Click this X here and then choose the formatted date time. And maybe we could have an underscore between the formatted date time, the Google searches. So let's uh, see how that works. I'll just click run. We're launching Chrome, extracting the data, and now we save it to a unique Excel book. Look, we now have a unique book. I could run this over and over and it will produce a new file. Pretty clever. We still have to make the elegant solution I promised you in the beginning because right now we need to have this page open. Instead, let me just grab the URL of the page. If you're scraping another page, take the URL of that page. Now we can close. So in the launch new Chrome, choose launch new instance and paste in the URL. And I can click save. So now I have closed each uh, browser window. I can just click run. The robot will open up a web page, scrape the result and save the data. It's that easy. There you go. And again, we have created a new result. Final thing, this one is dynamic. So I can uh, go in here and I 
simply just uh, say Microsoft, click save, run the robot, and this will save uh, the Microsoft results instead. Very convenient, and we can easily expand our solution. That's it. That's how easy it is to do no code web extraction with Power Automate Desktop. I prepared the next lesson for you, which is right up here.